What's going on, boys? I present to you Windows 10. Well, since there are no available skins at my rain meter location, and uh, Sherex threw an unauthorized access exception, I think, it, it's unable to create a folder, and it couldn't create a directory. And my, my desktop is empty. Man, there is also Microsoft Edge somehow. What is it doing here? Oh man. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna update to Windows 7. You know what? I'm just updating to Windows 7. This is it. I'm updating. Damn dude, Sharex errored again. <laughs> Update to Windows 7! Do it! Mmm, much better. Alrighty. Now we're talking. Alrighty. Let's log in. Beautiful. Dude, this is so much better. Not even kidding. Shayrix. Shayrix works too. Mmm. Awesome, dude. No rain meter, I don't need it here. Let's go ahead and look into the system tab. I am back to Windows 7, baby. The update has been successful. Beautiful. Well, the main idea behind that skit was to test my new, I guess, no, not that new, PCI Express adapter. It's right here, but you can't see it. No, you can. That's pretty good. I, ha I, have, to, I have to free my right hand. Uh, how, do I, how do I take it out? Okay, that's good. So, this is what I was testing. Wait, hold on. Let me unplug the SATA cable. That's PCIe, or rather NVMe to PCIe. There we go. I bought this like two years ago from eBay and I still have not tested it. And the only reason I tested it was because I migrated from this tiny little Micron 256 gigabyte SSD to a new let me show you the new Samsung solid state drive. Plus, I think it's the. It's not this one, but I replaced my main computer's SSD with this one, which is 990 Pro, with 2 terabytes, and it's PCI Express 4. So it can transfer how much? Up to 7,500 7, megabytes per second. That's pretty, that's pretty insane. And I swapped this guy for the Samsung Evo 970 Plus, 970 Evo Plus, something like that. It was one terabyte and it only supported PCI Express 3.x. So it was like more natural to place it into my laptop. And I did place it in my laptop before, but times changed. I switched to a computer and... Uh, I didn't want to buy an SSD, so I just so I just took it out the laptop and placed it into the computer and brought the Micron from the Acer factory back into that. And it was goddamn slow, dude. I had to fix it. So yeah, here is that little adapter. Requires SATA connection. If you place the NVMe SATA here, uh, you just got to connect it to the SATA controller. Uh, if you if you want to use the 
normal M2 NVMe drive, you just connect it here and it communicates via the PCIe lanes here. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I think that's a, that's a good buy, it works. And dude, God, I might miss Windows 7.